Hello everyone, this is the Kmart Commander here with Gorgonoth for yet another episode of Noobs Casting Fools. But this isn't a normal Noobs Casting Fools because what you're staring at right now, ladies and gentlemen, is, you guessed it, the old StarCraft. Can we kick the speed up a little bit? Rude War. Yeah, Rude War. So yeah, I don't... What is it? Fastest? Yeah, Fastest. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, so in case you don't know, um, Blizzard actually released the old StarCraft for free on uh, Battle.net. You, like, you can get it. Version 1.18. Yeah, 1.18. It's great. You can download it, get it on any device now, I mean, any OS now. It's really fun. And uh, we've just been having an absolute blast because we just love this game. So we're doing a little bit of nostalgia right now. And this summer, we do have Remastered coming out. That's right. So I think it's August 14th is the date. It's August so 14th? Okay. Pretty excited about that. Um... Yeah, so this is a game you played, right? This You're is a game Protoss, right? that I played, um, and Prodos. Um, so I'm I'm like noob, but I'm kind of I'm slight. I'm I'm like a highish noob on a PVT. I've played a lot of PVT, and I won't spoil who wins this game, but it's a pretty fun game. Um, it's kind of a long I game. Guess it's you. <laughs> well, yeah. All right, bad, but we'll keep <laughs> So basically, PVT. Um, this is on Fighting Spirit, you know, very common map. Yeah, he's putting his uh, his uh, supply depot not on the, uh, the the ramp, which is kind of yeah. Unusual. It's it's a um. If you put it on the um, ramp, usually it's you're afraid of a two gate or something um, that'll come in and then you can block the zealot. Um, but he's putting his barracks there. Um, I think supply depot by the CC is um is fairly normal. Is that normal? Okay. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I see a lot of people do put their um, supply depots there and there, so right. they can block out a zealot. Um, but yeah, that seems to be fairly normal. And I'm opening up with just a um, yeah. Actually, I opening up with one gate, and I go to a two gate, um, and um, I actually have uh, I kill this two gate here. Yeah. So why'd you do that? Um, because I was thinking about going for a two gate, and then I just decided. Eh, I didn't really want to go that way. I wanted to play out for a longer game, and that ended up actually working in my I, favor. I guess the two gates kind of like a rush. Then. Yeah, that's, that's def definitely a rush. Um, so I'm just going to go in a standard gate into um, one zealot into a cyber core um, zealot, so I can put out some early pressure. And um, yeah, two gate really it would have I may, might have been able to squeeze something out, but it would have been kind of hard. Um, He's not doing anything, any like early CC. Yeah, he just seems to be just kind of doing just normal Terranness. It really seems. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not too much. Um. Yeah, but it, it's really interesting. I, I've been trying to play it a little bit more, and I just realized how terrible I am. <laughs> obviously, just getting at this, but I, I just forgot like how much I really just enjoyed the old StarCraft. Really, it really it's quite a good game. You know. I think, um, was it Day 9? I know uh, Beckendorf sent me this interesting video about some major... Oh, yeah, it was Day 9, yeah. Yeah, he has this really interesting uh, talk about the old StarCraft, and uh, largely his opinion of it is that it's a really good um, game. Not because, like, I mean, th those limitations, like, you only select, like, 12 units and things like that, that's not a limitation in the sense of, like, the engine isn't capable of that. It's That's actually put in there to make a certain kind of game, like how it's difficult to like fight with an arm uh a big army and things like that yeah um did you intentionally put him on the, i do uh, yeah if you line it up right then your icv cannot scout hmm. so that's very and i do have a dragoon out here i'm going for a um dragoon to zealot push that's pretty much what i standard um do against a terran he's gonna have a vulture out or probably maybe a tank but um uh, so he's gonna one rax one factory yeah then. what yeah Pretty much for Terran, um, I never you never see anything other than mech. I mean, yeah, you never see anything other than mech. I mean, th th isn't there some kind of bio for like Zerg or something? Yeah, Terran. I mean, bio is not in rewards. Not like um, never happens, but um, bio's I mean, just so weak against Protoss. Yeah, that it never happens. I, right. I've been trying to. I mean, I've been looking around at like different build orders and things. So I kind of want to like just do some like play against computers and just practice. Um, you know, what was it? Crack. Wow, that, that this is gonna go down. You still get. I mean, there's like zero is micro. tanking. That's pretty decent. Yeah, I I'm mean, no, no, there was like no micro. I'm like, it felt like there really could have been like a lot more. You probably should have. Well, I mean, to be honest, seems like you killed like three something. marines. Yeah, I mean, the the zealot 
micro uh, tanking most of that attack was pretty good. Now you still have like you know a an active. Uh, oh, that was a pretty like good um, hit on my dragoon there. But all in all, that works pretty good. SCVs, like, I mean, worker if, really if I manage to pull SCVs, that's great. I'm successful. I've killed all his marines. Yeah. And his tank will be popping out in a second. Then I'll pretty much be shut down. I think for this harass. I don't really remember totally what I get in. But hey, this is good. I'm running around. Oh, I'm delaying tank. mining. Got my next dragoon up here. I think I have range. I have range. Yeah, it's, it it seems like what, what you're doing is just pretty good. about to finish. Goon range, and now it finishes. So now I can shoot a lot farther. Getting a few SCV kill kills here, and he does have a CC down, and I'm delaying a CC. Uh, yeah, that 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 is interesting. Uh, I I would. Is it common for like Protoss to be like building a base around now? It seems like you have. Yeah, like, I'm. This is a, this is a kind of. A, I'm definitely not macroing very good here. <laughs> I think I'm putting. Uh, I think I'm trying to pump out some more dragoons here. I think I'm building my base now. Um, let's see, I think I'm comfortable. To, I'm comfortable enough right now to build my base. Maybe not. Okay. Is that freeze or what happened? Oh, yeah. Anyways. Who knows what you're doing? <laughs> <laughs> the um, uh, now is see the CC's yeah, floating over. Okay, there's your base. Tried to send him earlier, but it didn't quite connect. Yeah. You're still t fighting with like you know relatively few units here, and you're actually being like a, kind of a problem, which is kind of yeah. But it just shows like you know the skill level of both these players here. Wow, that siege tank. That didn't was a even pretty get... bad. I mean, he could that have definitely really staged that siege. Ah, Wait, does saved. he have siege? Just finished there he siege, goes. and oh, this nice. is gonna be decent here for me because. I yeah. mean, losing that tank was important. Um, and he's gonna, you're gonna be able to pop right on top of that. Ooh, and, oh, that, that was, was bad. Uh, these nice. dragoons are so low, though. Three kills, two I mean, kills on each the, of these. It doesn't. Dragoons. At this point, it doesn't matter. You're still drawing his workers' way, which is again a, a I know, very unwise very move. And I'm getting my natural up here. Um, you're basically just a surging ahead with the economy, even though he has his base ahead of you. He's not using any of his workers. They're just sitting there right now. Yeah. So yeah, that that was a very bad move on his part. And I'm, I mean, I'm not doing um, tons of stuff right now with my degrees. I picked off maybe four SCVs, but I definitely uh, made those first few units count. And um, yeah, I would say in PVT, you know, um, as if, you know, if I nice. can give advice, you gotta make your first few units count because um, you want to do everything you can um, to keep their tank down, tank count d down in the beginning. Mm. I killed like three tanks. Now, if I wouldn't have done that, I would have had like five, six tanks, um, and that's a force that can easily um, come in here and hit and you know do quite a bit of damage. Yeah. And it's not like you have a, a, a huge production of units either. Even just two, one or two siege tanks right now could be a problem. Even just a, do a dozen or so marines just mm -hmm. to kind of hold things off. So I'm going up to four gates, and I'm going obs right. as my first. So you're trying for a more macro push now, yeah. now that you have your base. Do you have any, like, workers down at your other base over here? I have some. Okay, so it's, it's not great, but... Yeah, my saturation's decent. Um, he's He actually has quite a bit yeah, more CVs. What does saturation mean? I mean, just the amount of um, SCVs. SCVs yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, he's got way more SCVs. So now I can. Now that he has siege, he's fortified up. There's no way I can attack into here. Tah. There was a small window of time where um, he didn't have siege, and I um, exploited it pretty good. Yeah, it seems like you did a pretty good harassment on that. Mm -hmm. And now I'm just pumping out some dragoons. Basically, I'm gonna keep producing dragoons for a while because um, the thing, the next thing. I, um, oh, and that's going to go up to see this. Oh, nice. The next the next um, attack that I could be watching for is lots of um, vultures moving, ra uh, moving around the map. Hmm. And I want a um, healthy number of Dragoons to combat that. Um, dragoons will also be... Um, they take longer to produce than Zealots, so I want to get a healthy number of them up. I see. Well, while you have the advantage at the moment. That makes sense. And at a certain point, I will switch into pretty much... Uh, mainly zealots, but um, for right now I am just. Uh, What's he flown his? Uh... Well, he's going mech, so he doesn't really need it. He probably will do this with his. I think he did this with his. Mm -hmm. Yeah, his barracks is going. Oh, so you just need to float it and just kind of float it off in the corners of the map. Yeah, you can use it as scouting. Oh, that's interesting. You know, yeah. or as some. You know. That's uh, a fascinating idea. So I. Now, if you lose it though, you won't be able to build any more factories, right? Because you need that in your your tree, right? No. We, um. Yes, you're right. But it's still an interesting tactic, regardless. Now he's got three fact, two factors coming down. Is he even building anything? 
Oh, there he is. He must have been on supply block for a second. Then. Yeah, I think I'm... Am I supply block? No, I'm not. Um, and I'm keeping my minerals um, low. You know, I'm like 600 minerals. It's not terrible. Putting down some more gates. And my tech path is going to be um, just pretty much arbiters going for a three base arbiter. Um, that's pr that's my what I'm most comfortable doing. Um, you know, of course, arbiters with recalls and stasises are, you know, um, with heavy zealotic armies. That's what I'm most familiar with playing. Right. And, it's one of and, the and that goes really far on Protoss, too, because the units are just so powerful that really, even in late game, it, you know, it still works. <laughs> mm -hmm. And this is kind of interesting, one of the reasons why Brood War is fun. In PBT, like, the game is pretty much all, um, Ooh, nice. it's all about um, unit movement and um, positioning of your units, because... Right. It, it, it totally is dependent on who gets the better angle. And Arbiters allow you to recall into bases. For instance, if he's sieged up here, um, I can't, uh, I can't, there, no way I can just run into that. Even if I'm maxed and he's maxed, I will just, my stuff will melt. But if I right. send in, send in two Arbiters at once, send in a recall of Zealots, uh -huh. if he's forced to unsiege, move his units around weirdly, then I can maybe hit him when he's unsieged or something huh. with round Zealots and do economic rest with arbors. I see. So basically, arbors allow you to position your units how you like them. Interesting. Yeah. So it looks like you're doing another base up here. You yeah, I'm getting walled my third. It in with the, the, the and ones. yeah, this is to prevent um, big vulture har harass. Um, I see. He actually hasn't. Um, he's just switching into vultures now, which is another reason why um, you know it's important to pick off tanks in the beginning because. Mm -hmm. You want him to. He gets a healthy number of tanks here. Oh, he's, moving. he's moving out, and I will spot this with observer. Observers are also super important, important, important in PVT. And they're important too. Yeah, <laughs> they're important and they're important. They're both so, nice. yeah, he's not moving out right now. He's just sieging, and he doesn't have a lot of vultures. Oh, why is he sitting right there? I mean, maybe he's just controlling, but I feel like he could be like attacking right now. He might. Know. He might have seen my observer ripple. Um, so and then he knows it's, it's, there's no surprise coming. And right now I have zealots. I believe I have, I have legs. I think on my zealots. Um, yeah, I think I have legs. Legs. But zealot legs. Yeah, presumably, and I'm actually like, presumably zealots have legs. Yes, <laughs> but speed. Oh. So okay, so there's an attack coming in here, and oh, I saw a nice run in hits. here. So I'm just trying to split up my forces. But there's no there's no like. There's no backup for the sea chains. It's literally yeah, just all sea chains. I don't think it's going to go there. I mean, is it is that a commonest to do like vultures and sea chains then? Oh yeah, that's that's pretty much all. I mean, some goliaths sometimes too. And Cause I've seen some of the pros like do like flash for example would use basically like um uh what is it goliaths? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for the um arbiters for like the kind of just the main like you know just rained assorted troops, right? And the siege tanks, you know, I just, just siege tanks. But, um, yeah, I, 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 I'm not, I, I'm not comfortable or, like, familiar with using, a, uh, you know, vultures. That mech. Yeah, well, vultures yeah. are gonna be your harass, also laying down mines. Um, but they, I don't think they just work so well as, like, um, just, like, a base unit to stop, like, you know, zealots or something. Well, um, they do, he wasn't maxed there, hmm. you know, he was, like, maybe, like, 150 or something. You were maxed. I was not, but um, I got a good angle. But he hadn't. Um, if he would have had a lot more, um, uh, you know, vultures there, it would have been different. Hmm. Could have gotten a lot more mines off. That's one of the things why they go vultures. Right. As you can get massive minefields, and then they'll just shoot through zealots. Yeah, yeah. So I um, am getting my third up now, and I denied his third, which is important. Um, you always want to be ahead of base. Um, well, it seems like he's got his army put back pretty good. You you don't. I think you're kind of lagging behind. It feels like you're lagging behind. Well, yeah. you, you got a lot. I'm, I'm macroing. I'm, pr I'm macroing pretty much as hard as I can, at least for minerals. Throwing down more gates. I'm up to one, two, three, four, five, six, They're six, seven, out. It's a little hard to eight, nine that. gates. So, and oh, I'm getting a my, Getting my first arbor out. That's pretty late. I mean, actually, I mean, it's not the latest arbor, but I could have gotten one out earlier. And, um... I was kind of hoping you'd leave it out with his uh, vultures here, but, okay. Alright, so, he needs... He's, he's um, being pretty cautious here. Yeah. He's, um... I think he's gonna try to secure his third now. 
I see. And I think, oh man, this is a pretty bad attack angle. I think I'm gonna try to go in for another attack here. Again, nice, nice. With only controlling 12 units at a time, the attack angle can get pretty bad. But a few zealots, honestly, a few zealots to get into a tank line. Yeah, that, that's pretty over. much GG. And I tried to set up a flank here, but I forgot about this control group here. <laughs> um, yeah, so but it looks like you just keep owning him every single time. I feel like, yeah, I'm not sure what what need is. Is those zealots are really just like just smashing through everything? Maybe he just needs to have more vultures or something to lay more mines down? I'm not so he sure. Needs, yeah, he needs a lot more mines. Um, and plus, too, a lot of it he can't control. It just... Mm. He got behind economically in the beginning. You know, if I did zero harass, I'd be probably struggling, you know, right. to get these kind of engagements here. And I'm running and in here, on. trying to deny his third. Should have just placed his third down. Yeah, yeah. But this is a pretty good line of tanks. Running zealots in. I mean, I'm losing troops. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he. You, I mean, he is holding you off. It mainly just goes one on one. You're. I mean, even though you're beating him one on one, it's still. Uh, it's um. Yeah. I mean, you, you are. He is holding in his own right. Mainly because you just don't. Ha you keep making pure victories. So, like you're not real. You don't have enough to really like go in. And yeah. Anything. I mean, it's really tough to on fighting spirit. That's one mm -hmm. of the things. Is um. It's tough to fight into this angle it's just mm. it's just a terrible cone of death to oh, fight yeah. into I see yeah. apparently so I got my it, arbor here there's your arbor yeah so um when you say art when you say like protoss going arbors like what do you do then do a uh do you kind of like just go grab some wraiths just to kind of take them down real fast or um something, mainly or? just goliaths okay goliaths um science vessels have emps to right. um stop i mean to take out the energy and their shields and that will stop their cloak right well, it's not their cloak. The cloak's a uh, permanent ability. Oh, okay. But the two abilities are Stasis Ward. I think it's not sorry, Ward. Stasis Ward and Mass Recall. Right, right. And what, the Stasis Ward, what is that doing again? It's basically just um, freezes up a few units. Oh, okay. It's not super useful. I usually use most of my um, Arbor's energy hmm. um, on recalls. Yeah, I and mean, you seem to be pretty effective with recalls. I was playing you a while ago. Yeah, I used and, uh, recall. Yeah, you used the recall on me several times. Like, wow, I forgot about Rodos being able to do that. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, he's pushing so out here. Yeah, and I mean, you know, come to think of it, he may actually do. It, I'm gonna guess that he's gonna do a decent amount of damage right here because you don't have a huge number. I of did. Troops. I pretty much overextended there. Yeah, it looks like you have um, to pull your army back, and that's still not an insignificant force. And that is a huge minefield. Anything you walk through there, it's gonna get completely toasted. Yeah, I'm remembering this now. Yeah, I mean, this doesn't look good. I mean, you're he, you are gonna like he's gonna try to relieve the siege right now, but. But again, it's not like he can do much, and he has no way to deal with this air. That, that's the other thing. He has like zero way to deal with that arbiter. Yeah, but, the I mean, arbiter. But you know, come to think of it, he just did just take like all of those, all of your uh, stuff down. I know. Pretty impressive. And is the um, the minefield still there? The minefield is still there. So. My the arbiter oh, attack is very attack? weak. Oh, yeah. It's a very weak attack. And um, there's the Goliath. There's Goliaths to deal with that arbiter. Plus, um, they're a little stronger than tanks. But this looks pretty bad for oh, me wait, right now. Oh, wait, why is it next? Oh, uh, I mean vultures. Oh, vultures. Well, they're different, you know. Their base attack is a little bit more consistent. So now I have to pull my arbiters back. Yeah, so, this, does, this, th this is not looking good for you. I mean, his army is really powerful. He doesn't have any mines here. Um, but he's got the Goliaths to deal with that arbiter. But even so, your zealots are totally chewing through your line right now. This is Lost that arbiter, that's huge. You still took out a huge portion of your army, though. Yeah, this but I have the mineral, I have the money now, and I have a few more gates. I mean, you do have money. Like, you, if you need to like, produce troops real fast, you can do it. Yeah, it's tough because um, I don't have any gateways in another base. Mm. So I remember this now. You have that second base down there. Th I'm that's getting, not too bad. I'm getting plus two weapons. He is nothing. He is one. No. Yeah, plus one. One weapons. Yeah. Yeah, upgrades are kind of a hard thing for me to do. I mean, I've been doing it a lot more, but, uh, yeah. The upgrades in PvT aren't, um, as important. They're usually a late game thing. Oh, really? For instance, like, because they just don't, they, they don't, um, push the amount of, like, zealot swipes on a tank or anything. Oh. The reason why, like, upgrades, for instance, are important in, like, PvZ is because, um, without plus one, zealots take, um, three swipes to hit a, um, um, Zergling, but with with plus one, it's only um two. 
Uh, okay. So that's why. So the, so the ratio is doesn't really matter from the begin at the beginning so much on a uh, uh, term per loss. Okay, that's, yeah. that's good to know then. And he's just just getting his third up finally. Finally, after denying it several times. And he's times. floating his CC over here. And it, it look, but in the end, it looks like um, it looks like you held off pretty effectively. I mean, sort of. Yeah. I mean, oh yeah, my nexus got really low. Wow. Wow. I remember that. I mean, if that would have, if I would have lost that, that would have been really bad. And all in all, looking back at this game, playing it, my probe saturation was pretty, pretty um, poor. Poor in all these bases. I probably <laughs> should have had a fourth by now. He's getting his third up. He's got another massive army. Look at that. I mean, he's just there. completely sad. Yeah, he is sad. Wow. wow. He's a lot of he probably yeah, has this, this isn't looking good. Double the SUVs. But he's going to fully saturate this in like three seconds efforts. Okay, this is... So he's basically putting all of his yeah. troops here so to defend that base. Basically, I can say this for a second. Um, uh, in, keep it rolling. Okay, keep it rolling. It's a yeah. long game. But, um... Nin, um, hidden bases are pretty important in um, StarCraft 1. They're... Um, because you have to be constantly scouting these bases because you can get a, um expansion up in a weird spot. On this map, it's smaller, so... Um, I don't do a very good job of scouting, but that's something you definitely need to do in Brood War. Yeah, I've I've always, I've always heard Beckendorf and uh, Queen Steve talk about that too. It's like if you're not scouting, you're dead. <laughs> yeah, you definitely need to. Scout. You have, and it just makes sense. You need to have information on what your opponent is doing constantly. And of course, mm -hmm. Protoss has a really good advantage for that. Um, they have just a, a fantastic advantage for that because, uh, what are you doing? I'm just seeing what I can see now. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I don't know about this base, and that's pretty important. Yeah, and the Protoss has the, really has quite the ability to do it because um, you have again you can build observers. They're dirt cheap. You can they're not they're not terribly hard to build and such. I re really just, it makes sense just to keep doing that. But you've been monitoring that at least that base for quite some time. Yeah. Now, I, as his army, went, what's his upgrades? He got any? Is he fin anything else? Got yet? He's plus okay. Well, oh, oh, he's got the uh, the missiles on the. Yeah, uh, he has the um, uh, Goliath range, I think. Yeah. Okay. So, and I'm I'm working on two forges at a time. Let's see how many armors he has. He's working on a few armies too. Okay. But they're not doing anything at the moment. We're both pretty low econ here. Yeah. He's like, yeah, we're both. I mean, I have tons of gas because I'm just mainly producing zealots, and I'm finally getting my fourth. Um, How you pronounce that was a little strange. Zealots. 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 Zealot. Zealot. It's like zealot feathers. Okay. Zealots. We, we don't say zealot feathers. Zealot. It's zealot feathers. Zealot. The zealot. Yeah, if you're like if you're like saying zealot, it's good. Like you better like be going like Italian on me, like zealot. Zealot. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I missed. So now I. I finally just got the base, and my reaction was strange because this is a weird base to take since it's so close to me. Hmm. I can easily <laughs> super weird base. <laughs> I can easily <laughs> recall into it and then just you know murder you. But um, the thing is, is that yeah, normally I would expect like this base to be taken, this main, you know, maybe this natural, this base here, and I've, I think I've scouted maybe these bases at some point. Hey, it looks like you're going for a fourth down there. Yeah, I'm starting a fourth down there, but that is an odd base to take. To yeah, be it's it is it's really really close. But it's actually a good base. I mean, this ramp is just it's a tiny ramp. And yeah, there's not and there's not a lot of room for you to move your troops around. Of but, course, there's not a lot of room to drop either. But the problem is recall is very effective there. And he, he doesn't have a huge amount of uh, defense. I mean, if you got at least two arbiters, plus three. Like, you got three. Yeah, plus three and oh, plus, plus three. one armor. Oh, and nice. I believe, yeah. Yeah. Soon. Getting my fourth up, he's on two bases. So he's actually ahead of me on economy right now. But I, ooh, I got this like arbor here. Isn't... All right, and there's that recall. Yeah, recall, 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 recall. Oh, yeah! Oh, All those zealots get in there and Whoa! They destroy this. Yeah, and then th this is over. I accidentally... It doesn't matter if they go down because it just the forces are there. That was pretty bad. I accidentally recalled my other arbiter from there, too. Oopsie. But hey, you, at least you took it out, and there's no nothing you can do with this base now. At this point, his economy is really dead. And basically, this is—he's gotta make this work if he's gonna live. So he's and that's why his this. army's coming in. All right, he's gonna try to siege up here, and he saved all his SUVs. That's good. 
I mean, the recall force is pretty much dead. And I think I'm trying gonna try to trap this army oh, here that, this is a good before move. it's sieged. Uh, this my army's very oh, spread see. out. Oh yeah, he still hasn't sieged yet. Uh, he's, he's got some, a few. He's got a there. few okay. in there, but it doesn't matter because there's already um, yeah them on top of that. Yeah, this is not this is not looking good. Yeah, you really want on actually. Yeah. Oh, I feel so bad for him. Yeah, I don't know what it was. It just seems like you just like every engagement. It seems like you just ended up just. Taking his army out, but you, but by the end of it, he punished you so hard you, you really couldn't do anything about it. So, oh, yeah, that's, that's, the game. that's the game. Yep. All right. Wow. That's Not a pretty even fun a game. Yeah, that was re that was really interesting. Yeah. Um, I I'm still I'm a Terran player myself, so I'm still trying to figure out like what, what I could have done different. done differently. Yeah, and I, the answer is I just don't really know. I, just, I mean, he played av he played pretty decent. Um, for a I Terran. felt like he just should not have done that with the workers. It's like ugh. With what? The, you know, the pulling those workers out and the, the <coughs> oh, sorry. at the beginning, that really just, like, bugs me. Yeah, well, he was afraid of, you know, them all dying. I mean, he was afraid of totally losing it there. So you, at a certain point, you do have to, um... Oh, that was kind of cool. It slowly reveals the buildings. <laughs> but, um, he was afraid of totally losing there. Hmm. So sometimes you do have to pull SCVs. Um, what he could have done differently, I think, um... Maybe definitely science vessels to EMP my arbors. Yeah, would be huge. you know, yeah, that that would have definitely helped with the arbors. Mm. And just a, a general, e, just a few good EMPs plus on your armies would definitely yeah. have made the difference between the engagements with those uh, uh, zealots. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for uh, us today. Um, if you have an old brood war game you want to cast us, we'll be happy to do so. We're not really majorly doing that, but when um, remaster I'm comes out, <laughs> yeah, we're gonna do it. I don't know, but anyway. Um, <laughs> When Remaster comes out, we might buy that and go try to uh, do some of those games because we know a bunch of people are going to be onto that, and that's really fun. So Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but again, if you want to send us your StarCraft 2 replays, um, you can send it to us. We don't care what uh, skill level you are as long as it's an interesting game. Just please don't do us cheese because that's really boring. <laughs> I think um, for, for Brood War replays, yeah. I think it probably the only way we can get it because there is a way to send it, I think, through the Brood War interface. But probably if you just send screen recordings... Cause I don't know if there's any other way of sending Brood War recordings. Is there a way? To just grab, just to grab a, a, um, a replay. I, I bet there's. I'm not sure. All right. Well, anyway, if you can figure it out, <laughs> <laughs> send it to us. I am the Game Commander. I'm Gorgonaut. Thanks for watching.